Well, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. The dollar's decline and maybe the job figures that will be coming out uh, later on this week. Our next guest has our back when it comes to business. Ashley Patterson, Senior Finance Editor at Yahoo Canada and joins us now. Ashley, great to see you. Great to see you. Canadian dollar is very interesting because in the past we've seen the Canadian dollar strongly associated to oil prices, moving up and down with mm -hmm. oil prices. Not, not. 100% but pretty close. What's going on with the Canadian dollar now? That's a good question and you're right. Between 2006 and 2009 there was about an 80% correlation between the Canadian dollar and the price of oil. So when oil was rising the Canadian dollar was also rising and now we're seeing oil spike you know, above $100 a barrel based on tensions in Egypt and what's happening over there. But we don't see that really with the Canadian dollar. So it really is an interesting time. And on Tuesday, we actually saw the Canadian dollar fall to its lowest level since 2011. It was around 94.8. and Now it's hovering around the 95 cent mark. And so, I mean, where it goes from here is really anyone's guess. Yeah, there's good sides and bad sides to the Canadian dollar going lower. I mean, if I'm selling into the United States, that's good news. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's good news for, for exports, definitely. I mean, it's not necessarily good news for consumers who are crossing the border, hoping to get, you know, lower deals across in the States. But mm. in terms of exports, it's definitely a good news story. Yeah. Uh, do you think that the Eurozone situation is also partly to blame with, with what's happening in the Canadian dollar? Absolutely. I mean, we know that there's been a major sentiment shift this week. We've seen what's happening in Portugal and Greece. Mm -hmm. um, major political strife happening in Portugal. And whether or not that coalition government... Um, you know, actually goes forward, well, that remains to be seen. But it's that kind of political risk that is really being priced into the dollar. And we're seeing that within, obviously, markets as well, you know, stock markets as well. So, I mean, sentiment has changed, but it looks like the fundamentals are still okay for the Canadian dollar. RBC, TD, and Scotiabank are all looking to the Canadian dollar being a bit weaker in the near term. But there are some cheerleaders out there, like David Rosenberg, for example, in the U.S. He's a famous economist and strategist. He's saying, don't throw in the towel yet on the dollar. You know, it still has far to go. And he's actually saying that... To the, to the upside. He's to positive. the upside, yeah. yeah. And he's actually saying that, you know, the dollar should be sitting around 98.73 cents. So... There's a lot. There's a lot of pros and cons, and I mean a lot of difference in where we think it's going to go. Wow. Okay. So that's difficult for people when they're trying to plan their future as far as you know exports and imports of goods, those kinds of things. Absolutely. And I mean it has big re repercussions for you know the Canadian economy as mm. well. So I mean we do know that um, a lot of this is also based upon the strength of the U.S. dollar right now. The U.S. dollar is, is soaring, and there's definitely a correlation there. The loony is down about five percent for 2013. The U.S. dollar is up about five percent for 2013. So that's really not lost on anybody. And I mean, one analyst, an HSBC analyst, has said that this is really the dollar boom market for the U.S. dollar. So, I mean, the more that dollar continues to rise, the more that we're going to see weakness, I think, in the Canadian side. Boom can come with bust. But part of the thing that's fueling the boom in the U.S. dollar is, is jobs. I mean, we've had pretty steady job figures out of the United States in terms mm -hmm. of growth. Very volatile numbers here in Canada. Absolutely. Very volatile numbers. I mean, we saw in May, we had this blockbuster jobs report, 95,000 jobs added to the economy, the second most added in pretty much history of the Canadian economy. So, but for June, we're looking at possibly a decline. Economists are saying that we might have at least 5,000 job losses. So, I mean, that volatility has been happening for the last several quarters anyway. I mean, we've seen the trend over the past three months. Jobs are actually underperforming in this country. Um, I believe the average for 2013 is around 16,000 per month. So we're actually underperforming a bit. I don't think we're going to see another blockbuster report like we saw last month in May. But I mean, again, it remains to be seen. And also the U.S. jobs report is coming out tomorrow. So there'll be a lot of eyes on that. Yeah, no question about that. Uh, just uh, back to the Canadian numbers. Could it be a reaction? The economist saying, hey, listen, we've got May so wrong with the 80,000 jobs. We think some of those are, you know, inflated and those kinds of things. And they bring that 5,000. But generally, I think that the overall, there has been growth in jobs in Canada, but your, po your point is well made, underperforming what's happening in the United States. Right. And I mean, the United States is really going to be where most of the eyeballs are going to be tomorrow. And unfortunately, you know, anybody in the business world isn't going to get that nice four-day holiday weekend that they were expecting, because this is really going to be a blockbuster jobs report. And it's going to be especially important for the Fed as well. I mean, Ben Bernanke has tied his interest rate move to whether or not, you know, he gets that unemployment or the unemployment figure sinks to 6.5 percent so right now they're currently at 7.5 so i mean the jobs report in the u.s is definitely one that a lot of eyeballs will be on tomorrow well, I look for volatility because a lot of people will take that holiday anyways i think Ashley. right fair enough i would too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely thanks a lot ashley thank you see you next week definitely ashley patterson senior finance editor at yahoo canada